Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. A light sprinkle right now. Just a very light drizzle. 78 degrees. We had some really, really heavy storms last night, or early this morning, should I say, between 2 and 4 a.m. Some really wicked lightning, thunder and lightning, pouring down rain between 2 and 4 this morning. As you can see, I'm up at Wiggins Pass now. That's some colors up there. It's looking over to the east. Great sunset last night for those of you that were able to watch. Beautiful sunset yesterday evening. I will try to get out there again, get out here again tonight. So if you're a supporter, you're going to get to take in another sunset tonight. If you're not a supporter, you should really consider becoming one so you can participate in those live feeds. Tide is on its way in here. Thought we might be getting rained out this morning. There was a huge storm out here in the Gulf. Still a pretty good sized rainstorm out here. Oh, an osprey just landed on the piling over here. Neat. A lot of times you'll see them nesting. You'll see a big osprey nest on, st on top of the channel markers. This one just decided to fly in and take a little break there. Good vantage point for fishing. One of our ospreys. Lots of fish jumping out in the water again today. I don't know if you can hear the osprey. There's definitely some rain out there. That's rain. Some rain down to the south. Rain spread around all around us here. Don't see our little birds lined up today. I miss seeing them. Roy said old Pinky was over here yesterday morning. Pinky, the rosette spoonbill, rosette. A 
Boy, listen to that osprey. Screeching up a storm. Look down here. Look at that dark cloud. Look at all those fish. Look at them all. All that dark in the water is fish. That's what the birds line up and feast on here in the mornings. Wow. It's like a little whirlpool of fish down there. It's incredible. And back to the east to our sunrise. Roy and Kim standing down there. neat looking sunrise there. Got one cloud in the middle, the other clouds on the sides. That sun should be coming up soon. Me and the little fish, I'm just amazed by them. Look at them all down here. I don't know why the birds aren't lined up over here picking them off. But they are everywhere. Just kind of bobbing around in the, t the current here. Wow. Couple little snowy egrets here in front of me. Gorgeous. Beautiful.
Here it comes. Hey, Rob, how are you doing? It's getting ready. Yep. Not ready to explode. <laughs> All Look how nice that water looks when the tide's coming in. Oh, I know. Big difference. It's not muddy today, and you'd think it would be kind of muddy with all the rain. I thought there'd be a lot more birds out here. Is that two, are these blue herons here? I can't tell. I think those are tricolored herons. Oh, okay. Oh, pinky wasn't here. Yeah, no pinky. I was out here earlier. And I went to turn on my gimbal and I forgot to put batteries in it. Oh, really? I had to run home and get the batteries. Uh -oh. I had batteries, but I didn't have the screw cap was for the that, bottom. That wasn't you I saw coming out the gate, was it? No. No, I didn't pass Some anybody. Other person came out when I was yeah. ready to close it. The razor huh. opened the gate for me. That yeah. cloud out there was just full of lightning earlier this morning. Yeah, it wasn't ever. Wow. I mean, there was so much lightning coming out of it. I thought we were going to get dumped on it from a rain shirt. But at the gate, it was raining. Yeah. It's yeah. just hanging out there. You'd be burning up. Oh, it's coming, Rob. It's, the sun's a coming. Wow, Looking forward to that. Here comes the sun. Here she comes. Good morning. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Pretty soon, we're not going to be able to see it. It's going to be behind the trees. Yeah, you can see it there. It's up. Oh, it's up. It is up. It's just on the edge of the trees. Now it's going behind the clouds. No, you can see it right down there. Now it's just moving up to the clouds. Mm -hmm. You don't see the direct rays, right? Well, you did earlier. Yeah, earlier when it came up. Now. now it's going behind the clouds. We need to put a dock out here. Yes. <laughs> There you go. Get your sunrise hug in, Roy. Amen. Sweet.
Does your phone work out here? Yeah, yeah probably does. There's, there's a neat little video on Facebook to show Roy. Okay. Can I do, you want me to do it now? Yeah, see if we can do it. It's perfect. It's perfect, it's perfect. It came all the way from the Mediterranean Sea. Boy, look at that. <laughs> it's all right. There she comes up over the clouds. Beautiful. Well, we made it to see another day, Roy. Hallelujah, huh? Yeah. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Yep, now it's gonna okay. pop up over those clouds. Is it this one? No, that's, no, that's us. Go down one, just slide up. Keep going. To the, you'll see the first post there. Nope. Right there. Nope. Nope, keep going. Right. No, you're on the live feed. <laughs> that one. This one? Look, Roy. Is this uh, Connie and... This is Cindy and Jackie. Cindy and... Yeah. You're going to have to turn the volume all the way up. Okay. This is out on the cruise ship the yesterday. That's... Just listen. They're on their cruise ship, leaving Rome. Cindy Darling. Cindy Darling and Jackie. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, Cindy. But you see what's sitting on the table on the cruise ship? Two of the coffee cups. Oh, they took them Yep, they got two of the, oh, your coffee right. cups sitting on oh, the table yeah. there. And they sang, you are my sunshine. Oh, on the Mediterranean Sea yesterday. Oh, my <laughs> She can show you again later when you get back there. But I wanted you to know they did that for you. Yep. <laughs> that was sweet of them, wasn't it? Yep, they brought the cups on their whole on their whole vacation. They went all over the place. I know. Oh, really? Mediterranean cruise, and it was lovely. And I was like, oh man, I'd love to go back. It was. They were sharing their photos. It was beautiful. This is just beautiful. Thank you for sending that video, Cindy and Jackie. That was sweet. Everybody, you can see that. It's posted here. It'll be the video just under my live feed when that ends today. The video that Cindy and Jackie sent. Beautiful. That sun is up bright now. No doubt about that. Another day has begun here in North Naples. Well, thank you for tuning in this morning. We lucked out. We didn't get rained on this morning. Just a slight little drizzle when I came out this morning. I am not seeing all of our birds out here today. Pelicans, yes, but all the other little shorebirds, no. 
That storm has just been hanging off the coast here this morning. That is just gorgeous. Well, I see Pia is on with us. from Switzerland. There's a group of pelicans, a flock of pelicans over there. Probably going over to join the rest of them. A sailboat out there on the horizon. Let's see where these guys are going. Yep, they're going to join their friends over here. Well, maybe not. the seagulls somewhere there was a sailboat over here somewhere there was a sailboat there a sailboat out on the horizon can't quite get it to focus oh well it's still pretty dark But you get the idea. Beautiful. Just love those clouds. I love my early morning clouds, that early morning light. Ranger Steve, Ranger Steve behind me. You can hear his beach buggy behind me.
one fisherman out here now. There's some pelicans sitting out there in the pass. I don't know if you can see them sitting out there in the water. There's a group of them there and then down to the left to the south there's another big group of pelicans. Kind of offshore. Can you see them all sitting out there, bobbing up and down? Apparently there must be a school of fish there. Our brown pelican friends. There's some fishermen heading out into the Gulf there. Pelicans moving down the beach. Again, the tide is still coming in here on its way in. For those of you that are new, if you're just tuning in for the first time, be sure to introduce yourself to the group here. Don't be shy. Let everyone know where you're watching from. Feel free to comment. I don't care what you talk about. Just no politics, no ads. Keep it clean. It's a beautiful little cockle shell down here. A little cockle. 
while next to it, piece of what was a huge, a huge apple murex shell at one point. Man, look at that. That would have been a gorgeous, gorgeous murex. Look at the size of that. That's humongous. Humongous. An old apple murex. Wow. And there's the cockle. You know, it's got a little chip on the edge there, but you can still see some of those beautiful colors of the cockle shell. Kind of a pinkish brown inside. The sun's going behind some clouds here. Some big clouds moving in front of the sun. Hopefully they'll move on by, but it looks like it's going to be cloudy on and off all day today. Rain on and off. Hopefully not as not as much rain as yesterday. More pelicans joining the group here. They're kind of scattered around this morning. See them diving in on the fish there. Seagulls flying around above them. There's another, another big group of pelicans out here. They're further out. The old pelican. Look at this. Look down here in the water. Surprised the birds aren't all standing around here. Probably a little too much wave action here, but see all that dark stuff in the water? That's fish. That's just a school of fish, that dark cloud. See them down there? Wave splashed up on the screen. <laughs> Flipped it into the selfie mode. Look at them all down there. Just amazing. Absolutely incredible. And there's a there's a five or six little snowy egrets up here by the trees. Lined up waiting for breakfast to swim by.
gorgeous colors there. It is muggy again out here. It is humid. No doubt about that. Ugh. You can cut the air with a knife. We'll take a walk around the trees and see what we can find. See who might be hiding there, what birds. Well, yesterday we lucked out and saw a dolphin, finally. Down in area one. Morning. Now well, let's take the trail back here. Hey, if you like what you see, if you enjoy these morning beach walks and you're not a sponsor of South or a supporter of Southwest Florida Television, you really need to do that. It's because of the supporters that I'm able to come out here and do these beach walks. And I do thank all of you supporters. But if you want to see these walks continue, we're going to need to get some more supporters. I call these my little windows to paradise looking through the trees out at the water
Checking out the birds. This is a great place to come and do some bird watching. The birds love sitting on the branches of these old dead trees up here. They just come and go all throughout the morning here. Well, let's move down the beach. I wasn't talking to you guys. <laughs> I think the birds thought I was talking to them. Ugh. Waits us down here. Let's snap off a quick photo. Ah, spider webs, spider web alert, all over the place. I think this guy is sleeping, or trying to sleep.
I can watch these birds all day long. Just stand here staring at them. Them staring back at me. But that's another one of my little windows right there. Another one of my little windows to paradise. Well, we should be run we should be running into Dexter along the way here. See how he's doing today. Some of our railroad vine spread out along the beach up here. Starting to get some blossoms, some flowers on it. Little purple flowers down here. Starting to see some. People see this sign here and there's always a comment why aren't you allowed to swim at the beach well it's just this north end you're not allowed to swim at that's because of the currents the currents up at Wiggins Pass some strong undertoes so no swimming allowed at the north end of the park it's just for fishing up in area 5 you can swim in all the other parts of the park They don't want you going out here and getting pulled under and tossed into all these dead trees up here or swept out into the Gulf. Hey, if you enjoy these morning walks, hit the share button. Invite your friends to tag along with us. Little snowy egret perched up on top of this tree here. Like I said, it's a great place to come watch the birds. You gotta look really close too, back in behind me where we were. You never know what you're gonna find in there. I even get lucky and see a great blue heron. Sounds like a noisy helicopter heading our way. That's a little snowy egret up there. Beautiful birds. I hear a helicopter coming at somewhere. All right, it's right along the coastline. This went over, over top of my head, which reminds me, I need to look up in the pine tree here, see if there's any ospreys up here this morning. I don't see any. I don't see any up there. Huh, we did see one this morning out on one of the channel markers. see any in this pine tree here. Let's keep walking down to the south here. Let's see, if get a, let's see if I can get a picture of that little snowy there. Up 
They are cleaning itself. Beautiful. That's a great look. Great look at a snowy egret cleaning its feathers. A little snowy egret. Kind of hard to see its little yellow feet. Well, let's move on. See what else is waiting for us down the beach. quick reminder if you enjoy these walks if you like what you see tips are always appreciated appreciated welcomed if anybody would like to send a little tip a little thank you you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post every dollar counts believe me this time of year in Southwest Florida, things are really slow. Businesses slow down. This is our slow time. We're busy in the winter, slow in the summer. I do put a lot of time and energy and effort into these beach walks. I try to get out here bright and early for you almost every day, almost every day spend at least an hour and a half together if not longer yesterday between my beach walk and my little conversation with Roy I was two and a half hours of video yesterday plus a couple little bonus videos and some photos these beach walks have become a full-time job here that's why I'm asking for supporters. If you want to see them continue, please consider become a supporter. I'd love to continue to do these and maybe even do a little more. I don't know. <laughs> we were out here for sunset last night. Hopefully we'll be out for sunset again this evening. That's going to be only supporters are going to be able to view that that video live sunsets are for supporters only now you may get to view it on YouTube a little later kind of a delayed posting but if you want to participate live and especially participate in the comments that's what these beach walks are all about is the comments people chatting back and forth sharing their problems sharing their good times their experiences their vacations you know, their family highlights. That's what these beach walks are all about, bringing people together now in the morning. Giving you somewhere to go that's a safe, peaceful, quiet environment, relaxing, where you're only gonna find good people. And hopefully, 
if you do it right, you're going to make some new friends here. You should be making some new friends. I know I've made a lot of new friends through these beach walks. Everybody cares about each other here. That's what's important. This is a very caring and loving group of people here. Don't be afraid to ask for prayers. If something's not going right, please ask for prayers. Don't be shy. Share your troubles, share your burdens. If you need to get something off your shoulder, Get it off your shoulder. Let everybody know. There's strength in numbers here. Strength in numbers. Well, here comes Mr. Dexter. Good morning. How you doing today? I am good. <laughs> Didn't see any, no dolphins up here or anything. No dolphins down No there. dolphins that away. Darn we it. Have, uh, three nest hatched down there. Three hatched last night? 131, 134, and 137. Holy smokes. 130, 131, 131 134, 134, and 137. Wow, down on Vanderbilt Beach. That's yeah. wild. So, I don't know what's going on up here. I'm sure they had one hatch probably last night. I think one was due. It's hard to tell. Not yeah. Yeah. They had one yesterday. They went to uh, check it out, yeah. and they thought it had hatched, but when they excavated, all the eggs were still in there. Oh, really? Yeah, so it was, it was like 10 days past the hatch date. Oh. So they covered it back up and put the cage back on. They're going to give it another week yeah. to see what happens. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hate to lose them. Yeah. It happens, though. Every once in a while, you know, something goes wrong. But uh, that's Mother Nature. That's why those sea turtles lay, you know, Hundreds of eggs every exactly. season. <laughs> All right. Going anywhere fancy for dinner tonight? Not tonight. Not tonight? Uh, yesterday we went to lunch with uh, two, two J's. Have you ever eaten there? Two J's? Two J's. It's T-O-O-J-A-Y-S. It's in uh, Makata. Oh, okay. They have a great uh, top salad and a uh, nice uh, white bit of hamburger. Oh, okay. Yeah. For dinner or lunch? Lunch. Okay. Two J's in Mercado. Mercado. Oh, okay. On the left side. So, yeah, I mean, you give it a thumbs up? Yeah. All right. Two J's gets a thumbs up from Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got to go try it out when you're down here. All right. All right. All right. Enjoy your, enjoy your humid walk. Yeah, it's humid. <laughs> it is. All right. It's great talking to Dexter because they just recently moved down here, he and his wife from Ohio recent transplants and they go out to dinner a lot so we get the scoop on what's good and what's not good we just said two j's t-o-o -O, two j's in uh, mercado is great for lunch the mercado shops i don't know if you saw my post yesterday of the little wooden mr tequila statue there that's a fun little Mexican restaurant, Mr. Tequila, down on US 41. It's a fun atmosphere, all brightly colored painted chairs and walls and good food. Mr. Tequila, it's worth trying. The good old North Naples Country Club, that's another place I like, the North Naples Country Club. The building that's in, that was built back in the 30s. It has always been a bar. It's probably the oldest building now and that's been a bar and in Naples for sure. That's a fun little place, an eclectic Eclectic mix of people, very eclectic. People from all walks of life in there. Good food, good cooking. The North Naples Country Club, check it out. If you're looking for cheap, 
you're not going to find any place cheaper to eat than the VFW Post. The VFW Post in Bonita Springs. It's just around the corner from the, the Naples Fort Myers Greyhound track. It's just down the street from there. The VFW in Bonita Springs. You can Google that. You can. I've shared posts from there. You're not going to find a cheaper meal, a cheaper lunch, a good lunch. And it's open to the public. Go on in there. You don't need to be a member for lunch, for dinner, for karaoke, for bingo, for any of the special events, 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Veterans Day. Those are all open to the public. Just walk in and grab yourself a seat. Their lunches are great. Look at those clouds. Did you see that video that Cindy sent me? Her and Jackie, or well, Jackie sent it to me. It was her and Cindy on their cruise ship over in the Mediterranean yesterday. And they sang, you are my sunshine together to Roy. And they had two of the Roy Heisey coffee cups sitting on the table. That was so sweet that they took those on their cruise. God bless them. You girls are something else. It's just beautiful. Looking down the beach at those those big puffy beautiful clouds. Those clouds will probably turn into rain later today. But nonetheless, they're gorgeous. I miss not hearing Roy's harmonica. He's got stitches in his elbow, and it, I don't want to risk knocking out those stitches, him bending his elbow playing the harmonica. He already popped some of them out. But it gives us something to look forward to. Well, when I first came out here, it was drizzling. Not drizzling now. The only thing drizzling is me from sweat. <laughs> If you watched Roy's video yesterday, him talking about oh, a bunch of different things. He was preaching about poison, about alcohol. He's set in his ways about that, saying anybody that drinks alcohol is committing suicide. <laughs> God bless him. We talked to a little bit about driving, defensive driving, and talked about praying and listening to your intuitions. It was a good, it was more Roy talking than me. 
it was more Roy sharing his views on a lot of things, on vitamins and health, taking vitamins, how many vitamins he takes. It definitely gives you a good little, a little more insight on our friend Roy. How his mind works. I hope at 94 years old my mind is working. Hope I'm still here. I don't know why the birds have picked this spot here in Area 4. This seems to be where they're getting comfortable. These bigger, darker birds in the front here, these are willets. And then the white birds behind them, those are terns. Got a couple of seagulls mixed in there. plovers here in front of me, little plovers, the little darker brown birds. There's a few of them down there. And over here, scattering, running all around the little sanderlings, the little sandpipers. Step out into the water here. The water temperature is 85 degrees. 85. Here again, all those little fish swimming all around me. Hard to see in the camera. You might be able to see them over that dark spot there where the seaweed is. The little fish swimming by.
Gotta look close. This water is just loaded with them, loaded with them. So many. I don't know why there aren't so, as many birds out today. The past couple days there haven't been as many birds. We're getting close to high tide here. Still raining out there in the Gulf. That storm's been hanging out there all morning. Good morning. I feel a cold coming on. I can feel a scratchy throat. My nose is runny. Ugh. I know it's from stress. I've been stressing out lately, big time. I mentioned the other day that one of my clients is really falling behind. I only have a couple clients and one of them's way behind in payments now and it's just killing me killing me killing me so that is mm, stressing me major how's your how's your bag of shells this morning um, full of debris full of garbage a princess leia water blaster a princess leia what i'm calling it a oh princess water blaster leia water there you go, a water yeah. gun. <laughs> Big one. Hot I'm telling you, we could open a toy store. Everything that's out here on the beach. I know, I have a whole collection of stuff at my place in a bag that I, fa I found. Oh, yeah. A little, the, all these little the toys and cars. Absolutely, the absolutely. Goggles, I've, I've put a bug in their ear. I said you guys should put some bins that I are easy that. to access, you know. And It'd be great rather than just, sometimes I leave it on top of the truck. Yeah. Room. Well, just, I mean, if it's a place where people know to take it. Yeah. You know, it's like even beach chairs. People leave their chairs here deliberately, you know, when they leave. Yeah, if they, and, if they come down and rent or something. Yeah. Yeah. But people are afraid to take them because, you know, they think they're stealing them. So if there was a place where they knew they could take them, they wouldn't last long. <laughs> yeah. That's how I got my beach chairs. <laughs> I'm not going to hide that. I, I found them out here at the beach. Absolutely. Absolutely. Exactly. And they look brand new. I mean, they still had the stickers, you know, on them. Yeah, this still has the tag on it. Still a price tag on the water gun. Crazy. I'm surprised. No, I'm surprised I've never found a child out here. You know, some of the things people leave behind. Last year, they did, somebody lost a child. Because when I was leaving, they made me stop and they said, 
and they um, checked the car. They said there's a missing child. And they were oh my lord, they the lost their child. Before it went out to uh, make sure somebody wasn't trying to, to kidnap them. Wow. <laughs> I came back the next day. I was like, what happened? Did you find that kid? I don't know what was going on last night when we were leaving from sunset. There was a bunch of cops coming in. Really? There were flashing lights in the parking lot down in oh. area two, it looked like. Oh. Probably somebody just getting a little rowdy. Yeah, party, party yep, the weekend. Party. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Hopefully, it wasn't serious. Well, I was thinking there must have been a good party because, like I said, I found three pairs of uh, flip flops. That's so probably what it was. Two in the water and one just sitting up on the sand, but they were full of, full of water. So right. I, I mean, we were up here, you know, watching sunset, and you could hear the music all the way up here. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Having fun. Yeah. 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 I'm all for having fun. Yeah, yeah. As long as it, you know, your fun doesn't hurt somebody else, and pick up your trash. Yeah. That's the only, you know, yeah. pick up your trash, man. That's the biggest thing. And fill in your holes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's something going on at 42. It looks like it might have last night. Oh, 42? It's got a big, you know, the sinkhole in it, but because of all the rain, it can't. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Left it. Yeah. They're popping out everywhere. All right, Justine, you have a wonderful morning. Yep, good luck. Hope you find something. <laughs> One of our good friends, Justine. She works up in Washington, D.C., and she's back and forth between Naples and DC all the time. We see her for 10 days, two weeks here, and then she's back up there for two weeks and then back down here. I think, she, uh, she's gonna kill me if I say the wrong college. I believe it's George Washington University is where she works. Uh, not Georgetown, I believe it's George Washington University. Our youngest daughter, she is a American University graduate from Washington, D.C., American University. Our oldest is a Florida State graduate, Florida State University, a Seminole. Jennifer. I'm going to head back up the beach and Check in with Roy. Say howdy. Him and Kim are sitting up there under the pine tree. Pine trees. Love watching the birds come flying by here. Yeah, my wife, Friday, my wife is going in for oral surgery. We've 
been saving our pennies up for years for this. She was going in for to get a set of implants. Rather expensive. We don't have health insurance that covers that. So we have to pay that out of our pockets. And like I said, we've been saving for quite a while for this. That's one of the other things that has me stressed out. Just because that company is so behind on their payments and now we're having to fork out all this money. I mean, we kind of had our budget all figured out. It's like when it rains, it pours. Yeah, her, her surgeries, when it's all done, it's going to be about 24000 bucks. So, Ugh. that's a big chunk of change for us. And he's on his way back. You saw two dolphins. They're coming this way. They're headed this way? You're up at the point where they're coming around. The All right, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. Two yeah. dolphins may be headed our way. Yeah. You couldn't just bring them down here with you? That's right. Like the Pied Piper? <laughs> you couldn't just... <laughs> a keyboard? Yeah. Oh, must be going to have a wedding or something up yeah. there. Yeah. Or maybe she's playing for the dolphins on the keyboard. <laughs> well, it'd be nice if they come in close. Darn it. Well, I'll keep my eyes open. Right. Thank you, Dexter. Okay. Thanks for the update. See you tomorrow. Let us know where you go for dinner tonight. Okay. We'll do All right. Well, lucky Dexter, he got to see two dolphins. Oh, look at all the pelicans. He got to see two dolphins up by Wiggins Pass. if they come our way. Ooh, thunder out there now. I just heard some thunder. I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do what I did yesterday. I'm going to record my visit with Roy separately. We just get better audio. You can hear Roy better when I do that. For some reason, it just on these live feeds, you can't hear the, the people I'm talking to very well. I don't know why that is. It's something the way the camera interacts with Facebook. I'll go tell him what I'm going to do. Make sure he's going to be around. Just heard some thunder coming out of that storm out there. Coming from that storm. It has been lingering out there all morning. Looks like it's going to move... Definitely move on shore to the north of us, though. That's the good news. But anything out there behind it? And yes, it does look like there's more rain out there behind us. And that's kind of headed this direction. It looks like it's still quite a ways off. We got some couple good looks at some birds this morning up there in area five. We'll go back up there.
Ooh, just saw a big bolt of lightning come out of that cloud now up there too. Big bolt of lightning. Still don't see those dolphins. They might have headed out into the gulf. Look at those clouds. Ooh, did you hear the thunder? Did you hear that? Those are some big clouds down there and those are turning into rain. Thunder is rumbling now. The storm is starting to get active out there. All right, you're making me hungry. You're making me hungry talking about all this food. What restaurant are you talking about? Chang's, yeah. Can you get stuff to go there? How you doing? Wonderful. And he says, he says, I think I'm going to do what we did yesterday. Go get a little charge in my battery and come back. Oh, okay. So, it was a nice big happy thought for the day. A happy thought. A big happy thought for today. Yesterday was, yeah, more uh, advice. Your survival. Survival, yeah. <laughs> So let's that's a happy thought. Survival's always happy. Yeah. But let's um maybe that's the thought for today. No, uh, let's do something happy today. <laughs> happy big, survival. A big happy thought when I come back. Okay. All right. Okay. I think that rain that rain's gonna miss us for sure. But it's getting active. You hear that thunder? It's yeah. Starting to see a lot of lightning out there. We dodged it so far. Dexter said he saw two dolphins coming this way. I have okay. I have not seen them yet. Keep your eyes peeled, okay. and I'll be back in a while here. And that's a threat, not a promise. <laughs> uh, see if we see that lightning out there as I'm walking up the beach here. We'll see what Roy comes up with for his thought for the day. I've seen a couple of big bolts that shoot out of that cloud. Well, they say the lightning goes up and down. I've been seeing some big flashes out there. See if we see any. Let's see if we see the dolphins. Not the Miami dolphins. <laughs> Our bottlenose dolphins. You see the pelicans out there?
Love the waves, the sounds of these waves. Not very big. That lightning must be on the backside of that storm because I don't see it now, but it's still thundering. getting darker out there too. That thunder is booming out there. Booming, booming. I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the background or not. It looks like that storm's gonna probably move on shore up around Estero, Northern Estero. We are getting close to high tide here. Definitely getting close. Just love those white clouds up there in that blue sky.
Another beautiful view down to the south there. That huge storm building down there. My gimbal battery has gone dead on me, I believe, here. Let me see. Yeah, let's see. Uh, darn it, I gotta change the battery in the gimbal. Rats. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Sorry. Oh, what a ride. What a ride. Sorry about that. Those batteries, they last me you know, anywhere from an hour and a half to a little over two hours. I never know when they're going to die. They just die. They don't give me any warning. Well, they do give me a little warning, but I can't see the little LED light flashing out here in the sunlight. We're back. If you didn't fall out of your chair or get seasick there. Just watching these waves breaking along the shore. That's so neat. That is so cool to watch. See you later, Justine. I'm gonna go back and chat with Roy here in a little while. You'll be able to watch that video later today.
That'll be a standalone video. It won't be a live feed. And again, if the weather is nice this evening, we'll come out for we'll come out for a sunset. But you're going to need to be a supporter of Southwest Florida Television to view that live feed. So if you're not a supporter, please consider becoming one now. So you can participate in all of my live video feeds. And again, if you enjoy what you see, if you like what you see here, if you like my beach walks and the photos and videos that I post, especially these morning beach walks, if you enjoy them and you want to send a little tip, a little gratuity, a thank you, is always appreciated. Believe me, tips are appreciated. I do thank those of you that send something now and then. Thank you so very much. As I said earlier, things are kind of really tough right now, tight right now. And if it wasn't for the help of my friends, I don't know how I'd get by. So if you want to send something, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And whether you send something or not, I enjoy having you tag along with me in the mornings. I enjoy having you as friends here on Facebook. I love the little conversations that you all have going with each other here. I do ask your help for your help in monitoring the comments here. If you ever see something off color, let me know. Send me a message. Try to get rid of that comment and the person that made it. This page is for you guys, for all of you beach lovers. I'm going to go back and charge up the batteries here then go have my conversation with Roy. So look for that video later today. Look for our conversation later today. Hopefully I'll see you out here at sunset tonight. If not, if not, I'll see you out here tomorrow morning. God willing, weather permitting. It's all about the weather. And of course, it's up to God on whether or not I'll be out here. But again, thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.